and welcome to RX Primal. I'm Becky and today we're going to be making a lemon basil cake which I am... Oh, oven's heated. Uh, well, I'm really excited about it. Uh, I think my basil garden has kind of given its life for this cake. So this is great. It's really moist and fluffy which is difficult to do with a paleo cake. So um, it's also low carb which makes it doubly hard and uh, it's also um, doesn't have any whey protein powder which a lot of people use to give it that kind of fluffiness. All right, so let's get started. Um, first off, we're gonna go ahead and add all of our dry ingredients. So I've got a cup and a half of almond flour, one tablespoon, sorry, one teaspoon of baking powder. Ooh, that went everywhere. A teaspoon of tapioca starch. Sorry, if I said baking powder, I meant baking soda. One teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of tapioca starch. And then a quarter teaspoon of salt. There we go. All right, now we have two tablespoons of collagen. Two tablespoons of gelatin. Now, if you don't have collagen, I do recommend you get some. It's great. For your skin, it's great for your joints, it's just really good to have around the house and it dissolves in liquid unlike gelatin. Okay, and then we have one third cup of natural mate. Now if you're using anything other than natural mate, definitely check and see how it compares to sugar because natural mate is twice as sweet as sugar. Alright, let me grab, oops, let me grab this and then I'm going to go ahead and start melting the butter for the glaze. All right. I'm going to go ahead and mix everything together. There we go. Alright, and now we're going to add our wet ingredients. So we've got three egg yolks, one half cup of coconut milk, there we go, half cup of basil, One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we're going to mix all of that together. Now I do have some more uh, liquid ingredients over here, but all of those are really acidic. And the baking soda that we've put in is going to react with the acidic ingredient. And so it's going to start releasing, uh, I think it's carbon dioxide, but it's going to start releasing a gas, which is then going to help this fluff up. So we're going to add those very last right before we put it in the oven. So right now I've just added my wet ingredients that are not acidic. There we go. Get all that out of there and put that off to the side. Let me grab this. I will need it in a second. All right. Now I've got my egg whites and I'm going to go ahead and whip those. I'm going to add a half teaspoon of lemon juice here to help it go a little faster. There we go. And hopefully you can see that. These have been sitting out, so they are room temperature, and along with the juice, it should go pretty quickly. And I'm going to whip them until they have nice heat kicks. Heat. Hopefully you can hear me. Now whipping the egg whites is going to help make this nice and fluffy. So we're going to make sure that we're getting a lot of air into this cake so it doesn't get dense like a lot of low carb paleo cakes do. There we go, just starting to get there. When this is done, it's going to form nice soft heat. 
So I'll be able to pull this out of the egg white and the peaks will stay. So it'll kind of stick to the actual beater. I've done this by hand as well. It takes a lot of time. some nice peaks there so when I pull it up it's actually sticking. Now you don't want to get this overdone you don't want it to get like what you call stiff peaks you want soft peaks. Stiff peaks is when it stands straight up like whipped cream that you pull out of uh, out of like a store-bought can those are stiff peaks. So now quickly I'm gonna let this sit for just a second I'm gonna pour in my acidic ingredients so there's a quarter cup of yogurt I'm just using a grass-fed one, three tablespoons of lemon juice, and then this is the zest from two lemons. So there's one walking around naked right now because I only had juice from one. There we go. All right, so I'm going to add these really quickly, stir them in just loosely. You want to get these and the egg whites added last so that the egg whites don't lose there, um, the air that you've put into them, the nice fluffiness. There we go. And so that you don't start the chemical reaction with the baking soda and the acidic ingredients until you've got it into the oven. Now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna fold this. So what you do is you cut down the middle and then you turn it. So you're not furiously stirring this. You're gonna want to use a nice uh, either rubber or I got a silicone spatula here. And so you're just going to go ahead and incorporate that into the batter. Now you don't want to stir this because if you stir it, like with a whisk or something, you're going to lose a lot of the egg or a lot of the air that is in the egg whites. There we go. Okay. So now that it's mostly incorporated, you don't have to do it fully. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that into my baking pan. There we go. Now I've buttered this. This is just a loaf pan. You can also do it with a square baking pan. I like glass. And I've preheated the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. There we go. Put all that in. Now I'm trying to be quick here so that we don't lose any of the air in the egg whites or the gas being produced by the chemical reaction. There we go. Now I've only buttered it about up to here so that way when it starts rising it'll catch on the edge and it'll keep getting that nice gold, the nice rise, that nice crust. All right now hold on let me put my rack in the center. There you go. Pop that in. Close it up and I set a timer for 45 minutes. All right now you can see this is one I made yesterday. It's going kind of fast. You can see there's a nice glaze over top of it. So I'm going to give you the ingredients for the glaze as well and it's very easy to make. Now the glaze is just three tablespoons of butter and then squirt out about half a lemon and then you're going to want to use about half a tablespoon of either natural mate or you're going to want to use a full tablespoon of any other kind of sweetener that's one for one with sugar. And then for coconut milk you're going to want about a third a cup and you're just going to keep stirring that until it cooks down into a nice syrupy glaze. You can do that either over um, just like a medium heat, medium high and stir it constantly or if you've got time to melt everything over a low heat. Okay. So that's it. This is a very easy cake. If you've enjoyed this video, please like or share it with your friends. And also, if you leave comments in the, and feedback below, I really appreciate it. It lets me know what you guys want to see. So 
I really appreciate it. And again, this is Becky with RX Primal, and I hope that you've enjoyed my paleo lemon basil cake. And really, the secret to this one is the collagen and the gelatin that are going to make it nice and um, nice and fluffy with the egg whites and manage to capture all of that that you don't get in a lot of other paleo baking. Alright, so that's it. And I will see you guys soon, if I can turn this off.